Okay guys, we're back out here with another full day of work. Let me show you what we did yesterday. As you can see, just about all of the flooring is out. I need to remove the heater today, so that little part of rubber mat is still in there. I forgot the top of the wheel well there. But today we'll be removing the wood. We are gonna try to get all the side panels off and all those rivets off of there. We're gonna try to get the back wall out. And we're kind of try to get most of the front area out as well and see what I can take out and what I need to leave in. So yeah. Let's do this. Okay, as you can see, I got the first piece of wood out. And to get this piece, we're gonna have to remove the heater. Now I've been working on that, let me show you what I did. Now you see this huge mess it made? Yeah, removing the heater is awful. But basically there was coolant running to the heater up into right up there. I don't know if you can see it. But what you need to do is loop off the coolant piece or the coolant pipe so they just circle back into each other. And then um, you can pull the tubes up through it just have a bucket ready because coolant will drain out also I would make sure you get some vice grips and um, pinch off the pipes mine actually had a uh, valve to turn it off but one of them still just took out half the car's coolant just undoing it so make sure you clip it off that way you can circle it back on and not have coolant spewing everywhere um, my outside of the pipes like the protection was also filled with road salt because it is this bus is from the north and yeah that made a mess but we should be ready to pull out the stupid heater and get the rest of the floor out let's do it okay this heater has been one of the harder things to remove i spilled coolant all over myself My camera died, but lunchtime. Okay, lunchtime's over. And I've been working for a few minutes now, and it's it's July in Houston, and it's incredibly hot, and the school bus windows only open like this much, but I figured out how to open them all the way. So as you can see right here, the school bus window is barely open enough to like fit a hand through. Uh, there's still all that space left to open and I've been wondering why they don't open all the way and I've already done it to these windows, but basically All you do is grab yourself a Phillips head screwdriver because I couldn't find any information about this online And if you look in the corner of the window It's really bright. So I don't know if you can see this If you look in the corner of their window It's like a little screw and you just Unscrew it. And they all have these ridiculous little safety stoppers in them that I am taking out so I can get some fresh air. Okay, now back to real work. We're gonna start to take apart the back wall.
Sorry, my hair is a bit messy. Uh, but my phone died earlier, so it's getting dark right now, so I think I'm going to wrap up the video. I am going to spend probably about 30 more minutes grinding away at the rust on the floor, but let me show you what I did. So if you look in here, um, of course the floor is already out, the last thing you saw. Um, I removed one panel on this side, haven't removed the other panel. I'm not going to remove around the windows like I thought I was going to. Um, you would have to take the window out to get to it and that, I don't want to do that. Um, top's all gone. Also removed the whole side panel on this side. I got all the insulation out. I threw away all the insulation. Um, that's where I just got back from. Um, took off this whole side, have all the top off, and I have the bus fuse stuff just kind of sitting there until I can get something built in a later point to attach it to. Um, but it gives me a lot of space taking that out. So I'm gonna put it in a little cabinet in the back and then I have all this free space in front of it. Um, then I have the top all taken out. I do want to take off this right here. Um, so that's probably going to be for another day. Um, still need to take off the rubber mats and sealing stuff on the stairs and on the front of the car. Um, and I also need to take off this side and both of the bottom pieces on the sides. But my phone's about to die again. It's on 1%, so that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe, and you can stay up to date with all the bus progress. Uh, also click down below, I'll have the link to yesterday's video. And see you later. Bye.